Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet an army tank, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 16cm by 10.5cm or 6.5 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. This medium tank crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm by 7cm or 3 and 3 quarter inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches and this small tank crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8cm by 5 and a half centimetres or three and a quarter inches by two and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 244 spruce, 212 sage green, 074 mercury and 110 black. I've got a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now this is the army tank made using the Katona cotton. The size is 12 centimetres by 8.5 centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and a half inches. Now I'm going to be starting on the body so using my colour 244 the spruce I work 32 chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both the loops. And we need one single crochet into each remaining stitch. We'll have 31 stitches.
And that's row one done. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 31 stitches. For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got 3 loops on our hook. Then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 29 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left, so I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches.
For bow four, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have 27 stitches. So after my first joined single crochet I work one single crochet into each stitch till I have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow five, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 25 stitches. So after our initial joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. I have two stitches left, so I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the bottom part of the body done. I'm going to work a neatening row right around this section. So I start with one chain and I work a single crochet into each stitch down the side. Into this corner stitch here, I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Then I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. I'm crocheting over the top of the tail so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over it. Now once I get to the next corner, I'll work 
one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in that stitch and then I'll continue working one single crochet in each stitch till I get back to the beginning. So I'll work the row and I'll meet you when I get near the end of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For a slip stitch I put the hook into the top of the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in that end and I'll be back with this sage green to work this next section. Now for this middle section I'm going to join my sage green on the fourth stitch from this corner stitch. So this stitch here and I work one chain. I work a joined single crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. And then work one single crochet into each of the next 17 stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next 17 stitches. Then I work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And that's the first row of the middle section done. For row two I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. I'll have 17 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three start with one chain and turn, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the joint single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow four, start with one chain and turn, work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our initial joined single crochet, one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we fasten off this is the right side now we're going to join our cotton to the first stitch of the first row there of the sage green and I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch around the sage green so just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge and then slip stitch into the bottom of the first row there and fasten off and that's the middle section complete I'll just weave in the end and I'll be back with the spruce, this darker green to do this top section now I'm going to work this section over the middle six stitches so I find my middle stitches these two here are my middle ones so I go back two and join in there and work two chain I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain 
I have double crochets, I have treble using UK terms. So I have double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And then work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. For row two, we work two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, then a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And fasten off. Now we are going to do a neatening row around the top section, but I'll just weave in these ends first. Now for the neatening row around the top section, we join our cotton at the bottom of the first stitch on the right side. And work one single crochet into each stitch around that section. Then slip stitch in the bottom of the last stitch and fasten off. And that's the top part of the tank done. I'll be back with the mercury to work the inner wheels. Now for the inner wheels I've got four and they all work the same. I've got my mercury and I start with a magic loop. There are lots of ways to make a magic loop but I like to put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end to make a circle then put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and work six single crochet into my circle. I 
I pull the circle tight so I take hold of this tail and just ease it in and to join I work a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch there and fasten off and I've got a small circle so I make a magic loop work one chain and work six single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and the other two will be work the same so I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back with my black to work the outer wheels for the outer wheel we join our black cotton to any stitch and work two chain and then work two double crochet into each stitch around a double crochet is a treble using UK terms for a double crochet put the yarn around the hook hook into the stitch and bring through a loop Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. So we need two double crochet into each stitch around. And then I normally work another double crochet in the first stitch and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the first wheel done. I'll just work another one. So we join in any stitch and work two chain and work two double crochet into each stitch around the inner wheel.
and I'll just work a double crochet in the first stitch and then slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off and I'll need to work two more wheels the same now for this section using my mercury I work 16 chain I miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then I work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and then one treble into each stitch to the end. A treble is called a double treble using UK terms. For a treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining loops. So one treble into each stitch to the end. work three chain and slip stitch in the bottom of that last stitch and fasten off. Now I'll just make two more wheels and weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together and then once we've got it together we'll do this track for around the wheels. I don't do it now so I know how big I have to make it. Now there's my pieces. I've got the body the four wheels and the cannon part. The first things I'll do is attach the cannon part under the top body section. The narrower part goes under the back section and then I attach the wheels evenly along the bottom. I attach the two outside ones first and then I'll attach the other two evenly in between. So I'll do that and then I'll be back and we'll work these tracks for around the edges. Now you could leave your tank like that if you'd prefer, but if you want the tracks, you'd work enough chain to go right around the outside of the wheels. Now 
Using my black, I'll work 70 chain. I found that about 70 chain is the amount I need. Now that's 70 chain. And I've probably got about five too many there. So I'll just undo a few. I'll leave a couple of extra just in case. I don't join because I'll be measuring around once I've done this row around and I'll stitch it on and then I'll end off. Now for the row for around the tracks I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the half double crochet and then I work a single crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the following stitch and work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as a half double crochet and I just repeat that to the end a single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch, two chain and slip stitch in that same stitch as a half double crochet, a single crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet in the following stitch, two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as a half double crochet. And that just gives it a bit of a curvy edge. So I'll continue working one single crochet in the next stitch, a half double crochet in the following stitch, two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as a half double crochet until I get to the end of the row and then I'll be back and we'll measure and see if it's going to fit. Now here's the track done. I don't fasten off until I've stitched around just in case I've got too much and need to undo it. Now I start stitching from the one wheel and stitch along the top with it resting against the top of each wheel and then I stitch around the end wheel and then along the bottom just catching it with a few stitches along the bottom of each of these wheels and then I stitch it up around the wheel and then if I've got 
any excess I undo a couple of stitches at the end but I don't fasten off until I'm sure I've got the right amount so I'll stitch this on and I'll be back and show you the finished army tank and there's the finished army tank if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.